Hi everyone and uh, welcome to another Filipino Times What Makes Them Tick. Today we're going to talk to Dr. Arles C. Riodica and her awesome collection of Seikos, some Swiss watches, and the amazing story she has with them, specifically about her family. So this one kind of hit home for me and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Hi everyone, welcome again to another episode of Filipino Time. I'm your host, Francis Aguila, and here's my guest, Dr. Arles Siriodica. Um, before I start with anything, quick uh, wrist check. So uh, Seiko SKX 399, uh, and I wore it today because of, well, you're gonna see some really nice Seiko divers in just a minute. Arles here, my guest, she is a part-time doctor, full-time mom, and as you're going to find out, a full-time collector, especially for Seiko Limited Editions. Arles, thanks for coming. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. So, let's start first with the Seikos, because I think um, a lot of our, some of our viewers there from the SWCP will recognize you from uh, the, the club and, well, obviously with the Seiko collection. So, let's start there. Is that okay? Okay. Ah, sige. So, you said one of these watches was the first Seiko you ever bought. Let's start with that one. Okay. So, this Samurai. Yes. So, please tell me the story behind the Samurai. And why this became the first Seiko you purchased for yourself? Um, actually, my brother told me about this. Okay. So, when it was coming out it, last year, okay. early last year, yes. so he told me, I think this will be a, a good watch for you to purchase. And during that time, it wasn't out in the Philippines yet. I see. So, it came out in Singapore, but it wasn't in Manila yet. So, he told me, maybe you should consider getting that. Is it normal when they'll have it in Singapore first before Manila? Normally, yes. I see. So, so she comes out there first? Yes. I think this came about two weeks or three weeks before it arrived in Manila. I see. So this is the first Seiko that you've... So this is ground zero for your Seiko collection? Yes. So this one plus the Blue Lagoon Turtle. So I, I got a pair. I got oh, the set. Oh, okay. So the, yeah, the Blue Lagoon set. <laughs> yes. I love the NATO strap. I love NATO straps in general, and I love this one. Where did you get this NATO strap? Uh, the NATO strap, we got it in Singapore, in one of the small shops. Oh, okay. So it's not like a chain. It's not, they're not online? No. Or, oh, so you really got lucky with... It's a beautiful combination. Yes. Huh? It Actually, really works. Actually, a lot of people have been asking me about that strap. Yeah. I, would, I was going to ask you about it also. It's, no, it's, a really, it's really nice that the, the material is nice. Even the buckle with a, with a brushed finish is mm -hmm. really, really nice. So... Why the no? Why the uh, why the divers? Because not all ladies will wear. First of all, it's a big watch. Yep. So why the divers? I liked how it looked. Mm -hmm. So I like blue. Okay. And then when I read the history of the Seiko Samurai. Yes. It really made me want to buy it. And I heard you have an original titanium. Yes. You do. Yes. <laughs> that's you know I'm not a big divers watch guy, but someday that's that's on my list. Definitely I, on my list. I got two of the orange titanium. Wow. So first I got the like new piece. Okay, yes. And then I was able to get a, a NOS orange titanium. Really? Together with a titanium bracelet. Really? Yes. When did you get this? Uh, last year. Okay, so you were telling me earlier, so we talked about you like to travel and you have to collect, but mm -hmm. um, you were telling me you actually go around Asia yes. and you hunt for these watches around. Yes. What's the best place to hunt? I mean, which country? Do, I'm going to this country, I know I'm going to find something interesting. Um, Thailand would be my number one choice. Okay, why is that? The Thai people know their watches, especially really? Seiko. So I if see. you will notice, there are a lot of limited edition pieces yeah, from, so Thailand. from Thailand only. And um, they know the prices of their watch. So yeah. a lot of them have been keeping it for years, waiting for the price to go up before they will release it. I see. So I started my hunt in Thailand. What, which of these came from Thailand, if you don't mind me asking? Or um, any here? Or any here? This one came from Thailand. Oh, perfect. So, it's perfect. This is the second watch. So this, this yellow sumo, which is actually a really, really bright watch. <laughs> yes. Very, uh, it's very loud. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so how did you come up with, know, with the sumo? Or with this particular yellow sumo in Thailand? Um, when I started hunting watches, I, I'm not sure, but I feel that I had a knack 
for hunting. It looks like it. So I, I started going online, going okay. across different websites yes. just to hunt for the watches I liked. I see. And then eventually I met a guy who has seven pieces of these. Wow. So he was trying to sell all seven to me. Really? Yes. Hoarder. Yes. He, he's <laughs> been keeping it since 2011. So, okay. He was trying to sell seven to you. How many did you buy? I got three. Wow. But okay. eventually, I let go of two. Ah, okay. So this is the last one. Yes. How often do you wear this? Because this is a watch that would be very difficult to pair with an yes. outfit. How often do you wear this? Um, maybe once every two weeks. That's pretty good. That's yeah. quite good. So it's a regular, semi-regular rotation. Semi-regular. I like it because it's loud. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm not trying to be loud and yes. I don't want to, to stand out. Yes. But it makes me happy. That's why you collect the bag. Yeah, it's, so it's a happy watch. And um, the fact that it's yellow, it's, it's bright. It's sunshiny, right? Ah, uh, okay. There, that, that makes sense. Where did you get the... And, well, you put the yellow rubber strap so it became even brighter. <laughs> so where did you get the strap? Uh, this one, we ordered it in Singapore. Ah, from Crafter. Very yeah, nice. Yeah, Crafter. Yeah, very, very nice. So I... Normally, when I change the bracelets, yes. it's uh, voice activated. Sorry, voice activated? Yes. So I just tell my husband. <laughs> 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 so I tell him, it, look <laughs> it, it looks good with yes. the yellow. And, and then, then the next thing I know, it's yellow. It's yellow. See? So it, what's I, the difficulty in changing straps? Nothing, I, right? I want one like that. I want to point out to me also. <laughs> can, I go, can, I, can I invite myself to your house and say, you know what? I wish this was gray. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So even my friends get that voice activation feature. Is it the... Oh, I think it's only a women's thing. I don't think the men have the voice activation feature. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. No, the next one is more another, uh, another um, Seiko diver. And actually, this I find very interesting because I'm, I'm a big fan of the urchin. Mm -hmm. I, I love how it looks. But this one is not something you see. It's, first of all, it's really big. Yeah. So what's the story behind this, the urchin? The white urchin. Um, the white urchin, I bought two of the smaller ones okay. for my kids. I see. Because that's a discontinued piece. So yes. I was thinking while I can still find it, I would want to give them some. I see. How so old are your kids? Uh, three and five. Three and five. And they're into the watches. Yes. Start them young. Yes, start them young. <laughs> this is beautiful. So I started with watches for them. And then I was able to get another one. So I said, might as well get one for myself. Yes. So we'll be triplets. <laughs> and then I, I saw the big one. And then you couldn't say no. Yeah. So I said, it's unfair if my husband doesn't have one. Ah. So this is for your husband? Yes. Okay. So that's for him. I was going to say, the bracelet looks a bit too big for you. <laughs> it looks big enough for me. That's, that's for him. <laughs> ah, okay. That's why. So I, I haven't given it to him yet. So now he knows it's for him. <laughs> um... Just so that you know, uh, Arl's husband is actually sitting somewhere on, off to the side. So I guess now he knows it's for him. Now he knows. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So now you have, this, is a, this is a family watch. Yes. I see. How, where did you find this? Um, this one came from Malaysia. I see. Malaysia naman. Malaysia naman. Is there a second best place to look for watches? Uh, I would say Indonesia. Oh, okay. So Thailand and Indonesia. Yes. My blue urchins came from Indonesia. Okay. My SBDX017 came from yes. Indonesia. I see. I mm. see. All right. So probably out there, if just in case Thailand isn't on the list, Indonesia makes sense too. And apparently Malaysia also. So that's, th yep. that's three places. Right. I mm. got most of my urchins in Malaysia. The, really? the red the, and white. Yes. Are I those Malaysia it only? No, it's not. But I, I know a guy who's been collecting for years and now he's letting go of his pieces slowly. I see. Yeah. I'd so like he to sold know that guy. To my, <laughs> wife, my wife like, may not like that, but I would like to know that guy. <laughs> I will introduce you to that. Thank you, thank you. I will introduce you to my Indonesia and Thai guy too. <laughs> so um, this might be the last episode of Filipino Thai because I'll be broke after this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next ones, okay. I'm a big fan of the Marine Masters, mm -hmm. but you have a couple of very, very interesting ones. Mm -hmm. So, 
You said you like blue. Yep. So we'll start with this beautiful blue MM300. Yep. So what's the story behind this one? Um, this one also came from Thailand. Okay. And then it's only limited to 212 pieces. Wow. So the fact that it's so limited made me like it. Yes. Plus the dial is not so common. Yeah, blue and then has a yeah, it's it's what gold people call or, ice blue, right? Yeah, very beautiful. It, the the contrast with the uh, no, with the is that the it like almost the rose gold and the texture. Very very nice, a wave dial. Yep. Very beautiful, very beautiful. How often do you wear this one? That one. Because it's a very heavy watch. Yes. It's very Although I do not really feel it anymore. Okay, you're used to it now. Because most of the time I wear divers. So when I wear my smaller watches, I'm they not feel used flimsy. to it. Exactly. Uh, they feel so light. Okay, okay. This one you're used to. Yeah. And this one, this one just came out. Yes. That's a very beautiful. So these two, are they do you know which one goes to the six year old, which one goes to the three year old? Or husband and wife? Or just me? Or you? <laughs> I'm not sure yet. But definitely, it will go to the kids. I see. But uh, this one, I just found that in Japan. So that's the SBEX okay. version. Okay, so Thailand, Indonesia, mm. Malaysia, Japan. Yes. I thought that when I was in Japan, this would be sold out. Okay, when do you able to find one? In Yodobashi. I, really? Yes. So they still had it, so I got it. Wow. I think you're right. I think you have a knack for this. Yeah. Okay, so I, I see a bunch of Seiko divers here. So of all the, of these five, mm -hmm. or maybe the ones that you didn't bring, mm -hmm. which one sees the most wrist time? The most wrist time? Maybe my Marine Master and the Yellow Sumo. Those two? Yes. This one, I don't wear. Okay. I want to keep it for the kids. I see. So it looks like it's been worn. It looks yeah. not, not a scratch. So that's, a, that's my heirloom piece. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever even taken these to the water? Yes. So this one I do. I swim okay. with it. This All one right. I swim with it. This one I do swim with it. Okay. So they're not they're not afraid of water. I'm, no. I we've encountered some collectors who have collections who are afraid of water. No. No, no man. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'll move on a little bit from Seiko. We can come back a little bit later. But mm -hmm. um, you also have a couple of very interesting Swiss time pieces here. Yep. And so, um, but before I go to that, I just want to say. I, I love your cases. Thank They're you. really beautiful. You guys have to see this up close. You'll see it in the photos. Specifically this brown one because uh, what I love about it, it says uh, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And so, where did you get these? Um, I had it customized. So okay. I, wanted, I wanted a watch roll that yes. will be good for traveling, but yes. that would be snug enough. So I asked a, a leather guy, I see. Two. Is this made here in the Philippines? Made yes. In, okay. It's made in the Philippines, and then when people overseas saw my my picture of this, they started asking me about it. Oh wow! So can you can you now buy these? Um, yes, you can buy it. So okay. I, I try to help my friend okay. with with this. So that's why when when we try to sell this, we say it's uh, designed by watch collectors for watch collectors. Well, designed by you, so yes. obviously a watch designed collector. Designed by me. <laughs> well, if if let's say someone out there wanted to buy one from you, where how do they contact you? Uh, they can just get in touch with me on Facebook. Okay, SWCP. Yes. Seiko Watch Club of the Philippines. And there's a there's a page also for this. Oh, um, what's the page? Zeitreis. Zeitreis. It's a German word for time travel. So, <laughs> okay, right? Because very you nice, are yes. keeping time pieces and, and you're you travel traveling. with it. Very nice. Yes. Zeitreis. So, check them out on Zeitreis. This one also. This one is this one is a bit neutral, but this is very, very, yes. very girly. Yes. So, this, I guess, came later. Yes. I asked him to make that for me because um, watch collectors are mostly men. Yes, that is true. So, when I started with, with different clubs, yes. they all called me sir. Sir Arles? Yes. They called me Sir Arles. And then when they finally meet you? Sir Aris. I'm a boy pala. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they are very surprised that I'm a female collector. Well, there, there aren't that many. Yes. Especially not that many with the collection this, I would say curated, I think is the correct word. This curated. Because it's all limited editions. These are, maybe except for the, the, the samurai, these are watches that you couldn't just find if you you know, if you went online, I want this. You probably couldn't find it right away. Yep. That's a bit intimidating. 
No. <laughs> Little bit? Not really. It's, those are the watches that I love. But you were telling me that it wasn't you that started into watches. It's your husband who got you into watch collecting. Yes. And so, which brings us to this particular piece here, this uh, Rolex Datejust, which is completely different from everything else here. Yes. <laughs> so what's the story here? How did your, how did your husband get you to watch collecting? Um, he's been collecting watches since I think he was in high school. Wow. And then his way of trying to convince me was, was by giving me watches. And this is the one he convinced you with? Yes, so that was the story. Good move. Yes, so <laughs> he gave that to me during our wedding. All right, all you guys out there, if you want your wife to be a watch collector, do what Arles' husband did. Take notes. And he wasn't done with that. He wasn't done with that? Okay, so what was next? So the following year, during my birthday, he brought me to Omega. Oh, okay. So he, he asked me what I wanted. He knows I'm partial to white. Okay. So he got, white me, dial. he got me a white Seamaster. Very nice. And then when he was paying, there were suddenly two watches. Oh! Yes. Not just one? Not just one. What was the other one? It was for him. <laughs> oh, what kind of watch was this? Um, Another it was master. also a Seamaster. His and hers. Yes, so he was telling me it's supposed to always be his and hers. Guys out there, again, keep taking notes, huh? Keep taking notes. Mr. Yodika, we salute you, sir. <laughs> his and hers. Okay, so... It was a, so you had his and hers uh, C masters. Do you still have those watches? Yes, of still course, with you. of course. I see. So this is the first that he got you into, no? Yep. But, um, and it's also very small compared to everything else. Yep. I guess you're telling me you, you prefer larger watches to the small ones, right? Why is that? Not, not really prefer, but um, these are the simple watches, right? Not too much funk, not okay. too much color. Sure. But if you want to be different if you want to feel good yes these are the watches you i wear. see well if you're talking about being a little bit different we'll go back to swiss a little bit this nomo is actually very very interesting yeah i find this really nice and well for nomos nomos is usually known for very simple dials right but black with a bright orange yeah and look at that there's steel highlights as well oh you're right i didn't even notice in the beginning you're right and so look the, at the, the blue dial. It's yeah. not your typical blue. It's like a dark matte. Yep, but very, when it's under the, under the sun, it's a bit lighter. I see. It's a really different kind of blue. How did you come upon this one? Uh, there was a German watch fair in Singapore. Okay. So I just decided to look. And buy. I wasn't planning on buying. <laughs> <laughs> but when I saw this, I couldn't say no. It's very nice. It's, it's got the classic Nomos look. Yep. Very clean, but it yeah it has the, the touch of color and the square case. It's not it's not typical normal. Yes, it's hip to be square. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll remember that. I don't have any square watches, so I guess I have, I'm not hip. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the German watches because not everyone knows about it. Yes. I mean Rolex, everybody knows. Of course. Rolex. But when you wear the German watches, Nomos, only Zin, Jung Han. Yes. Only a true watch collector will understand. Well, they're very beautiful. I, this one in particular caught my eye because it's very, it's quirky. It's, it's um, European, yep. but still very quirky. Yep. Very nice. That's why I love that. And then this one, I remember you were saying this is your, your favorite watch of all. Yes. Which is another Rolex. So you guys in the SWCP don't get mad. There's a story behind it. And I'd like to, I'd like to hear the story again because it's a beautiful story. This is a 1967 Rolex worn by my grandmother. Uh, when she passed away mm -hmm. in the hospital, I was on call. I see. So I was the one who revived her. So I intubated her. I started yes. running the code. Yes. So eventually we were able to resuscitate her, but we eventually decided to just stop everything. Yes. So when she passed on, my aunt decided to pass this to me. Because of the resuscitation? Yes, because of the resuscitation. Oh, wow. So she felt that it would best be given to me. I see. That's a really fantastic story. So when I was uh, finishing my residency training, yes. I used to wear that every day. Oh, in memory of your grandmother. Yes. And then wow. um, because of the history, I decided to stop wearing it 
I understand. to make sure to preserve that, it. Yes, to preserve it. I understand. I understand. It's beautiful, and even on its own, um, it's not off. You, you know, you see a jubilee bracelet on one of these. It's got, I guess, this is an oyster. Yep. A women's oyster from way back when. 1967. Wow, 67. It's in great shape. The dial has a little bit of patina on it, but it's still very clean. Yeah. Um, I could imagine that this is something that definitely will go to your daughters. So, in the intro, I did say that this is a family affair, and so I actually wanted to bring in Arles' family. So, Arles, would you, do you want to call them in? Yes. Come, chubbies. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, chubbies. Hi. Hi. You show your watch. So go ahead and introduce your family. Hi. So this is my eldest. This is Ia. Hello. Ia. This is Ali. Hi, Ali. And this is my husband. The chubby. <laughs> <laughs> He's not chubby next to me. And as you can see, the kids are wearing watches. Yes. And so this is definitely a family affair. Yes. So um, when are you gonna see you on the camera? <laughs> Someday, yeah, or your kids will be on the camera before yeah. you. Maybe, maybe. maybe. Yes. So in maybe ten years time or so, stay tuned for another episode of Filipino Time featuring the Rio Dica children. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Thank guys, you. for coming. Thanks again. Thank you very much. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yes, we did. Thank you. We enjoyed, and you know, uh, I hope you guys out there enjoyed as well. Uh, thanks again for tuning into this episode of Filipino Time is what makes them tick. Thanks again to Arles and, and family for coming out. And um, if you guys like the content, please like, subscribe. You, anything to say, please put in the comments below. And I hope to see you again next time. Take care. Say bye, everyone. Bye. bye. bye.